Hey guys, what's up? If you are a project manager like me and you're overwhelmed because uh, there's a lot to do and when you want to get shit done, you're just busy. Um, I made a little tool, it's free, you download it. And uh, it's for when you're just feeling like you got to brain dump a bunch of that stuff and you want it to be organized for you. Now, it is something you can grab right off GitHub. I've made it public, you can see it here, Cloud Code PM Assistant. We're gonna test it live together and it, all it's gonna do is take your brain dump, whatever you're trying to focus on, it's gonna put it together for you. It's gonna make it easier to work through. It's gonna help you feel like you're a little bit more in charge, a little bit more capable, you know, whatever else you need to feel like in a day as a project manager. And uh, yeah, you know, maybe you just make your day a little easier. And that's what I'm here for. If you enjoy this stuff, remember to leave a comment, let me know what it helped you with. And uh, let's get into it. Thank you for joining me. I don't have a splashy intro, but if, it, if there was one, it would be here. So splash. Okay, let's go. Now, uh, this is gonna be really easy. Um, all we're gonna do is I'm in this. This is just my normal folder for whatever. And I'm just going to MK, uh, MK BIR, um, YouTube PM. So that's going to make a new folder. I'm going to CD into that. YouTube PM. Okay. And now all of this is going to be in the, um, in the instructions below. Um, but we are going to, uh, just copy over a, we are going to copy over a GitHub. So we're going to go open. It's going to open it. Cool. Readme's right here. Automatic setup. So this is it right here. Or manual setup. So we're going to go with the manual setup. Can you see this? Yes. Manual setup is right here. So I'm just going to go right here and go get clone. Cool and it's going to copy everything right into your computer. Let's open up Claude's code right here. We'll go to Claude start. I'm going to get this out of the way for you guys so it's not as aggressive. Okay, now I'm going to say now that you are installed. Let's do the first brain dump and make this happen. Now, part of the reason why I want to get started on this is, as you can see here, I have a lot of projects going all the way down this list. Pretty aggressive stuff. And I was sitting there this morning having my coffee and I was like, man, I'm gonna be struggling um, to get all this done and even just like map it out, right? Because each week, it's not always like you have to get everything done, but like you want to feel like you move something forward. And that's what this is for. So I'll help you get started with your brain dump, right? Cloud Code PM Assistant. Let me understand what we're working with, how to read. Perfect. We're all good to go. Um, go ahead and share everything that's on your mind about the project, all your ideas, concerns, whatever. So I'm going to fast forward this just so you don't have to go through it. But um, yeah, so I'm just going to start typing out all of the different projects that I have to do here. And uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna fast forward this or whatever's easiest for you guys. I'll probably just like, just do it. Yeah, might as well just do it. Okay, so I'm gonna go, I need to get all the projects that I have waiting into one place. So I'm going to type out my brain dump information to you. Cool, now it understands kind of what I'm up to. I don't think this is super necessary, but I like to give it a little context. Go ahead, type out your brain dump. Okay, so here are the things I have to do. Keep, thing, keep clients a little bag because I'm doing, going, because I'm doing this on YouTube. Okay. Cool. Help organize when you're done. Cool. So, okay, PC. Leads check. All right, with client. We'll go to um, follow up with possible podcast client. 
read three h two echelon SEO check and update. Did I skip three? That's four. Uh, update my website with the lead information that I've gathered so I can reach out to all of them with cold calls. Five. Uh, Azure client follow up. Six. Oh yeah, uh, watch. Video I found about networking efficiently. Seven. Pick a video on the trading bot I found. That looks like fun. Eight. Cold calls. Nine. Pay credit card. <laughs> Ten. Oh yeah. Um, what was that? Google. Google ads for hydrogen client. Eleven. Oh yeah. Um, Simply computing battery warranty update, follow up with them. 12. Oh, yeah, sign up a volleyball team. 13, recycling. Recycling day. 14, small cap strat, that's tied to the other thing. Access, uh, yeah. Um, mortgage access information and update. 15, um, deposit cash I did. Uh, drop off bike to dads, drop off bike to dads on Thursday. 16, Follow up with videographer buddy for a coffee. Keeping it simple. So you can see I'm getting a little personal in here and it's because I still consider those important projects. And I don't think that they should fall away or fall apart because they're not like official projects, right? You still wanna prioritize that stuff. Um, watch Tanker app, uh, follow up with Jeremy. And watch, there's something on here that I don't know. Oh yeah, watch app I wanna work on, 18. I think you go watch app, 19. Start building a phishing website, 20. QA, paint quote website. All right, so that's 20 things that are on my plate that I'm not super excited to do. <laughs> you probably have this stuff too. So create categories. So now it's gonna go through, it's gonna use the information that we have in here to um, yeah, start categorizing it and making it you know, a manageable project or at least get everything into some kind of like easier way to go about things. Um, because I do have a notion and I really like my notion, but even with notion, it's like I'm spending a half hour to an hour a day just like going through my notion and it's great if you've upkept and you haven't missed a day but a second you miss a day on that stuff or you miss a week or you're behind at all like just the sheer amount of like catch up you need to do on there is such a headache that it just turns me off from doing it so if i had something like this where i could just kind of like talk through it that would be great and if you're wondering yes notion does have an api but and I've tried to connect it to Google, to Cloud Code, and it, does, it just doesn't want to work for me at all. It hasn't wanted to hang out with me. Every time I ask this to go in and do something, um, it's always just a pain in the ass. So 
Well, let's just see what this comes up with. This is a nice little free tool. It's created. You can kind of do this on your own as well. Just download it from GitHub. Um, do this locally. It'll keep things private for you. Not like the privacy that I'm doing here, because obviously you can see everything that I'm doing here, but this at least gives you a good idea. Um, you don't need to learn all the different protocols of like how to use stuff. You can um, just, you know, follow up. You can create a nice little Gantt chart and we're going to see what comes up here because I do think that the Gantt chart that we create is going to be pretty awesome. I am, I am pretty pumped on the Gantt chart. I think they're the easiest to read. I'll show you what a Gantt chart look like. looks like while we're here. If you are a project manager, then you have an idea. But I mean, this is kind of it. It breaks things down into like this nice little structure where, you know, week one, week two, and you can see how you work through the project. That sort of visualization's always been really nice for me. Um, but with that said, it's like, it's hard to keep up. It's hard to keep up. So let's see what's going on here. I think it's creating these visualizations here. We'll see what goes on. We'll see what goes on. 7,000 tokens. It's definitely doing some cooking. It's creating a dashboard. Now I don't see the dashboard in my VS code. So I'm curious where this is going. But let's find out. Let's find out. Okay, so we have six client tasks, three business development tasks, two development projects, one content creation, two networking tasks, six personal and admin. Wow, it's really broken this up. Okay. Um, let's see here. Can you open this within? Okay. YouTube research folder, the AI project, sorry, the AI project management folder, AI project management folder so I can view it on VS Code. Here we go. Okay, so it, just by asking, it opened it up for me. And now we can have a look at what we created. So let's have a look. This is the tool and it's all here. So today's priorities, uh, leads confirmation check, hydrogen client, Google ads check, podcast client follow up 30 minutes. And so now it's broken it down. Projects by category, export tasks, reset day. Cool. So here it is. So my Tuesday, it thinks it's Tuesday, it's Monday. Website updates, cold calling session, drop bike at dad's, fishing website start, hydrogen follow up, it's all here. Cool, okay. So yeah, so now we have this and you can literally check stuff off as you go. That's pretty awesome, it's simple and it's not super wild, but I mean, you can update this however you want. So if I go into my terminal, which is here. Um, okay, so I'm going to say, can you add a way to click into each task to add notes? When you are complete to, with this. Let's update this to the Git as well. If you need to create an agent, or something that would help create that using the meta agent and also save that to the git. So I just want to see if we can click in to add notes to each of these to each of these things because I do think that would be like a nice little bonus for you know because it is good to have this. I mean look if you're just like starting your week, if you're Sunday nighting, or if you're Monday morning, morninging, if you're Monday morninging your jam, you just want to kind of like get through something, kind of get everything down. This looks like everything, like I could probably get through most of this just today, uh, which is definitely what I want to do. 
I don't want to wait till Friday to work on this stuff if I can just make it today. And once all of this is done, then I can upload this information to my Notion or whatever else I might be working on um, just to make everything kind of happen like as I want, right? Because if it's not fun for you to use, you're not going to use it. And if you're not rewarded for using it, you're not going to use it. So, I mean, there's a lot of tasks here. I don't think I'll get them all done. Like, yeah, this is going to be probably closer to six. I don't mind that it's, it's probably closer to six hours on this one here specifically. I'll pull this down. But I mean, I'm happy for it to take a little bit of extra time with everything. Cause that way I'm going to feel like I've been that much more successful in what I've been up to. But anyways, I'm going to continue to um, update and vibe code this. And I'm going to add that to the GitHub, which will be in the description below. And if you found any value in this, or if you just like hanging out with me, thank you for coming to hang out with me. I super appreciate it. Um, yeah, you guys are the reason why I'm doing this. I just have so much fun making these videos. And thank you so much for spending some time with me today. You are an absolute legend. Thank you so much. See you guys.